Good morning. Good morning again, Paramus Catholic. Welcome to Friday. Wow, week two flew by, didn't it? Did week two fly by? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'm getting used to all of this. I uh, miss you guys, though. Miss first period, miss fifth, and uh, seventh. Well, you know how I feel about you, seventh. Miss you guys, too. Uh, so we're here on the assignment uh, 326 yesterday's. Uh, here's our review. We're on the law of signs, right? Law of signs. And I thought maybe I uh, bit off a little more than we I could chew there on that previous homework assignment. So I narrowed it down. And I said, let's just practice doing problems where we're looking for a side length using the law of signs. Law of signs, S-I-N. That's what we're going to be using uh, in all of these problems. Now, uh, the answer key is posted. Uh, the answer key is posted, and you can uh, check that out. Uh, and really, uh, I think looking at the problems, uh, if I were to ask you, well, uh, where, uh, what problems, if you had to group them together, where was there a difference? And I think four, five, six, and seven was a particular type of problem. And eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 started another type. Now, uh, we may think they're all looking the same, but Let's see where the, uh, where the difference is. Uh, we're going to start here with uh, problem four. We're going to do uh, one of each type, problem four. Uh, four, we've got a triangle, right, uh, looking something like that. Uh, we've got 30, 47 here. We've got uh, a 30 here, a 47 down here, right, and then we've got a this side length we're looking for. Remember last night, uh, or I should say, all the homework problems here, we're looking for a side length, four through 12, all of them looking for a side length. I don't see one there where we're looking for an angle measure. Okay? So let's use the law of signs. Now, law of signs is built around the entire idea of the taking the sine of an angle that you know about and uh, writing it as a ratio, okay? That being in the numerator, the sine of 30, over 24. Now, why did I start there? Because the sine of 47, I don't know the side, and I didn't even fill in the angle measure there. We could, uh, but there's no need to, because to find this side on the other side of the proportion, right, sine 47 over x. And that's how we solve using the law of sines. I don't know that angle. I don't know that side. Again, 180, right? We can find that, but they're not asking us to find that side, so let's not even go there. Okay, so you're looking, first and foremost, for an angle measure and a given side length across from it, and there it is. So now we're going to cross multiply and solve, and we're on our way. We'll be deliberate in our cross multiplication here, right? We're going to take 24 times sine 47, 24 times sine 47, and on the other side, sine 30, right, times the x. I'm putting them in parentheses to just highlight that they are factors. We're multiplying, right? So there's our equation after you cross multiply. There's your setup, there's your equation. And now, we want to use a little algebra. We're on our way using algebra to solve for x. Now again, these expressions are actually numbers in your calculator. Uh, we're not going to take them out of our calculator. But here we go. To get the x by itself, you're going to have to divide both sides by sine 30. Now over here, we're just going to get that action. That's the entire, right? That's that old step in algebra. And over here, we're going to divide this side by sine 30. So here's what we're going to do in our calculator. We're going to hit 24, and then we're going to multiply by 40, sine 47. And then we're going to hit the enter button. That'll guarantee us uh, the proper order of operations. Okay? So 24 times sine 47, enter, and then divide it by sine 30. And when you do that, you're going to get that side length, and it comes out to 35 point one. Uh, let me double check that. That's what we have on the answer key. That side length is 35.1. Point 
Uh, there it is, how you find a side length using the law of sines. Given this scenario, okay? Now I'm going to pick another problem to demo on uh, the homework uh, last night. On assign I'm calling them assignment because I guess every assignment now is, is homework. Uh, some the classwork, I like you to check in. I like you to look at the video and begin the assignment if you can. And you can even begin to ask some questions on the stream if you have any questions while you're, you're, after you look at the video and you practice a couple of problems. That's what we're there for. You can ask those questions anytime, but usually during our allotted uh, time frame uh, for, for the class period. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned that I, I think the, the assignment kind of divides, takes a, a, a slightly different turn. They're all fine in side lengths, but on problem number eight, problem number eight. And when I look at 8, and let's see why we marked, why did I mark off 8? Uh, we've got a triangle there, right? Looks something like that, 51, is that right? 51, 73, oh no, sorry, 51, 73, or the 51 is this angle measure here, right? 51 is the angle measure, 73 is the angle measure. So we've got two angle measures again here, two. Uh, they give us this side length, 32, and they ask us to find this side length, x. So now, what makes this problem a little different? Well, <clears throat> we're looking for that side length, so we know we want to set up a ratio, right? Again, we're going to fill in one, two, three, four spots up top here in numerator, sine of the measure uh, of an angle measure and underneath side lengths. Well, we know we're going to be looking for x. So we know we're going to take sine 51 over uh, x on this side. But here's our dilemma. Uh, I have that angle, but I don't have that side length. I have that side length, but I don't have that angle. So what do I do to fill in? Well, the one fact that I think we're going to, well, one of hopefully many, but one that will always stand out is that the three angles in a triangle will always, always, always add up to 180. So you're going to do a quick little arithmetic here. Now, what would that angle have to be for the three of those to add up to 180? This angle would have to be 56 degrees. Those two added together subtract from 180, gives you 56. And now we can set this side up. Okay? So, uh, <coughs> as always, we're looking at our picture. Uh, always fill in some things when it's obvious, if it's easy. Uh, I like to always fill in that extra angle measure. But here's our other side, sine 56 over 32. Sine 56 over 32. Now, uh, we practiced nine of these last night, and I think we're getting used to the fact that in our calculator, we take 32 times sine 51 and hit enter, right? We're cross-multiplying. 32 times sine 51, enter. But then, uh, the way our previous problem was set up, okay, on the other side we had sine 56 times x, so we're going to hit 32 times sine 51, enter, and then we're going to divide it by the sine of 56. So this can all be done in your calculator. So on our next assessment, okay, uh, I'm going to ask you to write the equation uh, first, and then show the answer. So that would be sufficient as the, as the answer on a quiz or a test, where you show the proportion, this is the proportion, and then using your calculator, come up with that answer. So those are the two uh, distinct uh, problems, and not even that much different, uh, but two problems, I believe eight, uh, seven uh, through, uh, eight through uh, 12, you have to fill in an angle measure first, okay? So that's uh, a video review of some of the problems. Don't forget to check out the answer key. Any questions, uh, go ahead on the stream or any time, uh, preferably on the stream on, on Google, but you could do it on the email as well, okay? Uh, I'm going to show another little video about reminding you how to find the angle measure when it's missing in this type of problem, okay?